Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is Ark, and we're setting out to get the boat back, and, uh, Open Preachery is the, the best choice there. Also, why aren't we so heavy? Is it the... It's gotta be something particular, isn't it? It's gotta be. Uh, hold on. Let me get to the, the second camp over here. Yeah. Oh, wait! I forgot! Um, hold on. S slow down. Stop. Stop, Petrie. Okay, um... Yeah, there's another pterodon right here. It's a female. And, yeah, um... They're mating, I guess. Um... That was an instant and it happened off-screen that led to me having to get a second one because... Uh, Petrie, I couldn't reach it because it was in the middle of the air, so... Uh... A bit, a bit awkward. Yeah, sure, but, um... <clears throat> also, uh, I got the shotgun and the bolts here. Why... We're heavy because of this, right? That's the only reason? Or is Petrie carrying something that I'm not aware of? No, doesn't seem like it. And eh, whatever, let's just keep moving. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I see that down there. It's a Thanazenosaurus. It's pretty close to the base, too. I wonder what level it is. Don't want, yeah, I don't want to get too close. Could end up dying. But, uh, again, we need to get ourselves a tennis there. A thin and zen and at one point. And, uh, that looks like a, a decent avenue right there, pretty close. And hopefully it'll be a decent level. Uh, let's stop for a minute, Petrie. I know your stamina is low. This is a golden opportunity to, uh, get some metal while we're here. Uh, nope, wrong thing. Oh crap, my hatchet's about to break. How many uh how much metal can we get before it breaks? 7 pieces. Lovely. Well, at least I can smelt a, some more metal to fix it, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Petrie, you're a lifesaver. How wait, what? Are those redwoods? Those are redwoods over there, aren't they? How have I not noticed that before? I'm pretty sure I've looked in this area before, and those are... Those are actually supposed to be redwoods, aren't they? Hold on, let's take a look. I have not looked in this direction before. Yeah, those are... That's supposed to be some kind of judiciary conifer... Freaking fern forest going on there. Or just redwoods, whatever. More of the point, how did I not notice this before? Am I, am I literally that blind? It's a whole chunk of the map by the look of it. Well, it doesn't really look that big. It's just kind of, I can see each end of it from here. I don't know, maybe it's bigger on the other side. Hey, look guys, we got a cameo from Gragalopolis! Woo! Hey, Gragalopolis, do you mind if Petrie sits on top of you? No? Okay, that's not a thing. No, Petrie. Uh, this actually might be bad. We're really close to the swamp. Get back up, please. Let's get moving. Alright, uh, the raft in the, the house is right over there, but let's take a stop over at uh, what's over here. I believe there's a supply crate. Yeah. I rarely see anything actually come out over here, by the way. Like... And this is the part where I, um, realize that it could be worse. It could definitely be worse. You know, thousands of years into the future, when, uh, scientists and explorers discover this place, they're gonna wonder, what the hell were these three pillars here for? Were they perhaps for religious purposes? Perhaps they were to divine some kind of border during a dispute. And uh, little do they realize that it was uh, used uh, to, uh, to tame a, uh, to work the fuck with the collision of a sauropod so that a guy could tame it. It's uh, Occam's razor right there, y'all. Okay, on the boat. Let's head on home, Petrie. Uh, what? Okay, yeah. Actually, you know what, Petrie? That's not gonna work. You go right here. 
Uh, we're gonna have you follow behind. That'd be much easier. We'll just do it this way that we've been doing it. Follow me, boy. Let's head on home. Ah, uh, at least we uh, have a base of operations in case we want to come to this side of the island. Yeah. Probably would have made more sense to start making more stuff like that, just all over the place. But, you know, it's whatever. Hey guys, there's another supply crate right over here. Let's try and grab this one before it disappears too. Uh, okay, this one hasn't even landed yet. Never mind. We'll just uh, wait patiently for this one. <clears throat> and, uh... Touchdown. Thank you. So... Times like this that I really wish that um, you could carry around like a foldable chair and possibly some reading material or something. I don't know. I mean, like, it's not like there's much in the way of reading material around here. I mean, really. Well, yeah, okay, there's this stuff, but it's not like it's all that interesting or correct. Uh, let's see. We got one that... There's got to be a good example here, right? Um, uh, Saber to Sam, no, no, um, uh, Hyenodon, no, uh, you know what, screw it, let's just, uh, let's take a look at this right now. Uh, what do we got here? The blueprint to a metal wall, okay. Uh, don't really need it. Don't care. Uh, Piranha was also eating me, and Petrie, so we're gonna leave now. Alright, I've had enough with these crates. Let's get out of here. Like, really. I had enough with crates with nothing in them or just disappearing on me. I've had enough with stuff attacking my boat and killing stuff. And I really should let that go. I mean, like, I got myself a new buddy. I finally got Littlefoot. That's all that really matters. In the end. Maybe. Probably. Not really. Where are you? I saw you. Don't try to hide from me. I saw you. There you are. Trying to hide on the side of a cliff, huh? Uh, checking the surroundings. Alright, you're mine. Boom. 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 Death shall be. Ah, yes, perfect. Lovely. And now it started the rain. Lovely. Um, I already checked this area earlier. I don't think there's anything bad in it. But, uh, you know, could completely change. You never know. So I'm gonna come up now. I'm daring you. Bring it on. I'm ready for you. Hmm? Well, I'm psychologically ready for you, not like material-wise ready for you. You know what? Something just came to mind. Like, I was just thinking, with how the land is shaped here, and there's like this really narrow strip that could leave from the ocean to that inlet right there, wouldn't there, like, I'm just wondering, is there like some technology or something in the game that can allow us to like, I don't know, minecraft this shit and just like, you know, take all that shit out of there and connect the water? Like, I know that's probably not true, but it would be extremely useful right about now. Make it easier on the boat. That's your raft, whatever. So, um, I guess there's really two things that we could do right now. Uh, after we get the boat back, of course. Um, we could take Littlefoot inland, start fighting shit, and start, uh, burrowing our way through. Bringing in a bunch of supplies, building a base of operations, and... Basically have Littlefoot be my own personal bodyguard. Or, um, we could possibly take, um, we go back to the cave. We, uh, you know, we, we ran out of there. Didn't really explore it all that well. Probably, uh, we could get Terry, and I'm thinking maybe one of the smaller of our mounts. Maybe Terry, because Terry is a pretty high level and hasn't really gotten to do anything. Now, I feel like Terry could use a spotlight rather than literally just to be critiqued. <laughs> okay, wow. It's something, I don't know, there's something kind of silly coming home and just seeing two Brontos just hanging out. Okay, wow. That's a little, a little silly looking. I don't know about you. Actually, wait, is Task a female? 
Yeah, Task is a female, and Littlefoot over there is a male. So, I'm thinking... You, you know what I'm thinking, guys. I, you know what I'm thinking. But, um... Um, I gotta build something for that, don't I? Something to house that kind of situation? Or maybe I just have them stand real close and that's it. And they'll mate by symbiosis or something. Man, everybody's pooping right now. Already got Littlefoot's big turd. Okay, so that at least means we can get plenty of fertilizer going. <clears throat> right here? Yeah, there's enough in there. I'll put dump those in there. Something needs some more thatch, I think I remember. Yes, this needs more thatch. Uh, let's just shove that right in there. No, we're not going to put a tranquilizer bolt in there. What are you thinking? I don't know, guys. I'm kind of low on the metal kind of thing. I think, uh... Where, are, where is the last one metal? So it was in here somewhere. I don't... Am I all out of ingots? Is that it? Okay, well, I'm smelting a bit more... I'm going to need a whole lot more if I'm going to uh, either go into the cave or go into the mountains. Nah, screw it. I'll go to the mountains. Hey, I haven't checked on you guys in a bit. Oh, you, you're a whiz. And uh, you're, you're okay. I, I think next time we're probably going to do the cave, to be perfectly honest. No, actually, no, fuck. I'm, I'm actually kind of split on which one I want to do. The cave is a whole new world and everything. And, uh... Hmm. A whole new world I could die in. Actually, I think I started crafting something off-screen that could help us when going in there. I'll show you guys in a minute. Oh, I'm a freaking idiot. I, uh, forgot that the pick is what you need to get metal. I left it at home because I didn't repair it. Yeah, I'm such an idiot. I don't know what it is, but something about the bird's eye view, seeing all of my, uh... Well, really just seeing the sauropods around the place. It's something kind of cool, to be perfectly honest. Feels like I've come so far. I say about my wooden stone fortress. Well, this is still going to take a while. I'm going to see you guys next time.